Over the course of the last couple days, I debated with myself with what kind of content I wanted to make to contribute to the Philiverse. A famous toxic dickhead by the name of Almighty Tevin pointed out once that the more times you watch a Dark Side Phil stream or video, the more things you notice beyond the first time watching it. I think that is what I want to do. When the detractor community makes videos, they discuss the main issue as they should. The main issue is that DSP is a scumbag for this reason or that. And then they move on to the next stupid moment. They're truly doing God's work. Um, but I want to give those observations you would get from multiple times watching it, while sparing you the trauma of it. I'm not saying I have some sort of big brain hyper knowledge with my observations. No, 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 it's not like that. And it's not like the other detractors wouldn't come to these conclusions themselves. It's just that phenomenon of seeing things multiple times. And it's this madness in the background is the shit I want to shine a light on. DSP will be robbing a store with his fly down. And the detractors, the, the other heroes, are going to point out that he was robbing a store. I want to comment on how his flies down. And we can start with the new King Snorlax fiasco. DSP stepped in it again, it being his mouth. We were greeted with a new story arc of Darkseid Phil with the loss of a pay pig whale. This happens fairly regularly, but this time we got the inside scoop. A supporter by the name of King Snorlax, who had been a regular supporter of DSP, uh, he got a wild email from the pig king. DSP had noticed two things. One, he wasn't in the chat. Therefore, where's the money at? And two, uh, I was losing money. You're charging me back on stuff. What's that about? Utter bullshit, obviously. And DSP added a couple threats. No better business PR than threatening your customers. I can only assume DSP missed that class in business school. Philo said, and I quote, I'd like to know what's going on before I respond to these chargebacks, because maybe it's just a misunderstanding, or maybe something else is going on. But you are committing a crime with these, and could get into serious trouble with your financial institution if you lie about these being unauthorized. So I hope this is nonsense. Oh, goodness. Whew. Anyway. Snorlax comes back, earnestly apologizing, explaining that he had no idea why any chargebacks were happening, saying he didn't authorize them or whatever. He said it could be that the card went over the limit, or he got locked out of PayPal. DSP pressed X. DSP's kind of a pimp when it comes to sleuthing for money. Where's that hoe at Snorlax? He owes me some money. Gonna have to give him a couple black eyes. And DSP came in with his receipts, with one being a, a verified tip, and shouldn't be the subject of a chargeback, right? At the end, DSP accuses him of lying or of having been hacked. And DSP, master of class, says, Quote, if you did do it, just fess up and hopefully come to your senses and end this madness. I'd very much like to believe this is the case, considering you've also super chatted, gifted memberships, and more. And all of those are fully non-refundable. So it makes no sense to me whatsoever that you'd do this on purpose. But the other case is sadly a lot more sinister. Nice. Fall to your knees. Fess up. Confess your sins against me and we can get past this madness. And you can go back to tithing. Again, Snorlax comes back, apologizing all over himself. He gave more information as it had become clear to him what was happening. He had used a card that he didn't have sole ownership on. I mean, he had mutual ownership. So charges on there got charged back as the main owner didn't authorize the purchases. He then said he would tip back with his own card and pay back what Phil o lost in chargebacks. I would lay in a Snorlax at this point, but I think the person who's laying into him the most is probably himself. And there's another reason I'll get into later. DSP, content with the answer that he would still get money, was kind and gracious enough to say, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and believe you. After threatening him and doubting his integrity over and over. Pretty sure that's not how that phrase works. Snorlax apparently had time to ruminate on this, and all at once the pignosis fell off. Snorlax, by all accounts, was innocent of any villainy. He was he was sick, so he missed streams, and he used the wrong card to make a purchase, but the card still technically belonged to him. But DSP can't conceptualize that someone isn't malicious. Thus, DSP came in swinging, threatening, and accusing. So Snorlax leaked the emails and sent in the following chat to DSP. I was there in the stream when that went out. I didn't immediately connect who Snorlax was. I'd, I'd seen him a few times in the chat, and he would say the occasional comment. 
He wasn't kind of like a Derek or LTG Rocks level character where your eyes immediately get drawn to what crazy nonsense he's saying, but he was there. But when DSP quickly deleted the message, and even more quickly um, claimed that he didn't know what it was about or who this guy was or any of that, that's when it became clear there was more to it than that. Snorlax is apparently in the process of charging back more because I guess it could be seen as justice. And thus, DSP was completely exposed. Again, it's been said a million times, and it'll be said a million times more, that DSP is his own greatest detractor. This situation isn't exactly rare. DSP loses supporters all the time, thankfully through no fault of his own, of course. And they always become insane detractors for literally no reason, or were always detractors, like he ended up saying with Snorlax. But this time we got the full scope of the situation. I think many whales are ashamed when they finally get tossed out. Um, so they kind of disappear into the shadows with a word. They might say a few things to a detractor as they leave the scene, but that's about it. And that makes sense. People who have been in cults notoriously want to disappear because there's a shame in it in having a brain and still falling for this dumb crap. That's why I won't lay into Snorlax. He had the dignity to come forth about his departure from the Pygnosis. And I think we need to offer that understanding more. If for no other reason, then we get more moments like these. Let's start with the first absurdity. The right to remain silent in the United States? You have a right, when you're being arrested, that you can remain silent. Sure, it's a right when you have the cops all up your shit, but it's it's still a right you have anyway always, right? DSP waves his right constantly. DSP is not your typical business owner. He gives that hands-on experience by shaking you down via email. Philo, you like to bring up how things work in court of law, even though the most you know about court operations is from Phoenix Wright. You know why plaintiffs and defendants speak through lawyers? You know why small businesses don't send personalized emails to customers demanding they rescind their refund request? Because shit gets messy. People can get irate and say careless things that could be ad admitted as evidence or thrown all over social media. They shut their mouths. Otherwise shit can get out, get misconstrued, twisted to mean something else, get taken out of context. All things fill haze. <sighs> I swear, this guy's like the trapper in Dead by Daylight, who's really terrible and traps the crap out of the, the killer shack and then hits every single trap as he's chasing someone. So that brings me to the other point. His slipping skills at being a cult leader. Anyone familiar with martial arts knows about the no-touch martial artists. These out-and-out -out frauds do this big display of how they use the force, basically, to effortlessly thrash fools without even touching them. All fraudsters, hacks, and charlatans worth their salt will do everything they can not to fall for their own shit. They will position themselves to never have to prove themselves. Every once in a while, you get one who bought into their own clown show and hilarity ensues. Such as this no-touch martial artist taking on an MMA fighter, which we will now observe. So this gentleman here in the black, oh, off screen, uh, he is a no-touch martial artist. He's a, 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 a force user. And this guy's an actual martial artist, this guy in the white. Observe, someone who, who bought too much into their own shit. Oh, 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 that guy was being a negative detractor. Hold on, gotta do some snorts, gotta do some e-begging. Uh, Pig noses. All right, we're back in the fight. Mm, yeah. Uh. Uh. Oof. You know. But that's the the energy that DSP always carries. You know. He truly believes everyone around him as a child. This is easily seen in how he describes things to people. In this particular example, crimes. When we were kids, we had a legit fear of crimes. Even we didn't really understand it. Crimes is a big bad thing that is never joked about or lied. When you want to scare a child, you equate something with a crime. Oh, it's a crime to stay up to try and see Santa Claus. It's 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 against uh, 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 Arctic law. You know, the, people do that stuff. It's against the law to wear a to ride a bicycle without a helmet. 
DSP does that unironically, because he truly believes everyone is a child, so he uses this kind of language. And conveniently for Phil, everything that displeases him is a crime. This is how you don't play, is restraining him, reporting him for misdeeds, getting terminated from contracts, all crimes. Every single one of those is illegal. Once he even said that stepping on the street was a federal crime. How he, weir how he worded it was weird as hell. Uh, Pig Pig Go has a hard time trying to find it. Um, but I remember it. I was there. So DSP lives on a military base. Confirmed. Like that martial artist, he grew too confident in this. And since DSP is inclined towards negativity, he came into an email screaming of the law. Only Snorlax wasn't some kid. This wasn't an emo immediately terrifying thing to him. And in fact, it appears to have the exact opposite effect. So he lost someone from his flock, and this survivor of the cult spoke up. And now Philo's in deeper shit. It was over what, like 23 bucks? You can't let that shit go? You can't trust PayPal and the banks got this under your control? Or got this under control? Not everyone is a fraudster like you, Phil. You don't need to take a hands-on experience with this. Nope. Better lean in and pressure this dreg to surrender to my will. Via email, of course. And now he's whining about being $400 in the red, and it's all Snorlax's fault. It's his fault he wanted to get things for Jasper. It's his fault that Cat is crying. It's his fault that my day off was stressful and, and difficult. And it's his fault I might not get a game on time. And it's his fault. It's his fault. It's not my fault for harassing someone in an email. No, 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 no. I, that, that's, not, that's not really a bad thing. It's no one's fault but a failing cult leader who thought everyone would naturally buckle to his tired old shit. He laid into an innocent person. And I, a quote I heard once when I was younger was that no one wants you to be a bigger person more than the person who's actively abusing you. And unfortunately, fellow, this has happened. That, or it didn't happen according to your plan. Snorlax did, in fact, come to his senses and ended this madness. I don't really know how this is going to proceed from here. Because what will happen? Will DSP get banned from PayPal for threatening people? I'm sure that's over some term. That's against some terms of service. Is he going to get banned from YouTube over this? That, that would legitimately be hilarious. I mean, he. it's exactly how we always knew DSP would go if he goes out like this. Banking over money or threatening over money. DSP's world didn't end with a, a bang or a whimper. It ended with a tired, frustrated snort. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching.